Mueller failure to have Trump testify would be a mistake you should US News The Guardian. The chairman of the House Intelligence Committee said on Sunday it would be a mistake if special counsel Robert Mueller does not get Donald Trump to testify before a grand jury assigned to weigh criminal charges in the ongoing investigations of Rep. Adam Schiff of California reopened the committee's investigation of the Trump campaign when Democrats took control of the in January. On Sunday, he told Chuck Todd of NBC's Meet the Press that it would be a misstep for Mueller to accept Trump's testimony in writing. Ultimately it's a mistake, because probably the best way to get the truth would be to put the president under oath, Schiff said because as he's, well maybe he should talk before a magistrate. If said all along that I don't think Bob Mueller should rely on written answers. Negotiations last year between Mueller and lawyers for Trump ended without an agreement by the president to testify. Instead, while Mueller could subpoena the president in an attempt to force Trump to testify, the White House would be expected to resist the effort. Such a subpoena, Trump lawyer Rudy Giuliani last year admitted he did not want the president to testify under oath, the likelihood of Trump lying to prosecutors as a perjury trap laid by Mueller. Famously, Watergate reporter Bob Woodward concluded his by writing that one-time Trump lawyer John Dowd identified the president's one overriding problem which he could not bring himself to say to the president you're a fucking liar. Testimony under oath holds represents a clear legal hazard for Trump. Bill Clinton test but Schiff warned that without sworn testimony by Trump, the public is unlikely to learn the details of his business pursuits in Russia, his communications with Russian President Vladimir Putin, and other matters. If said all along that I don't think Bob Mueller should rely on written answers, Schiff said, adding here you need to be able to ask follow-up questions in real time. Schiff also said he believed that Trump might still be hoping to build a tower in Moscow or to make a similar deal. It potentially explains the president's bizarre affinity for Vladimir Putin, he said, and that is, that he stood to make more money from this transaction than any deal in his life and sought the Kremlin's help to make it happen while concealing this from the public. That still may be an animating principle for the president, he may believe that when he leaves office that he still wants to build this tower. And while that may not...